Recently, the Halo Airsoft community and I attended the Balahack 15 year anniversary event, a big celebration where a lot of well known people in the sport gathered together to show their support for the field. One of my main missions during this trip was to review and gather information about Airsoft R&D's Halo Arsenal. And the first weapon we'll be going over today is the iconic Halo rocket launcher. Here's a quick demonstration of it. Make sure it meshes with the teeth. There you go. Hey, you, guys, uh, you guys walk it on. You safety know off, know. or safety on rather. Okay. Pull and hold trigger. Keep pulling. Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> it worked! Yes! Yes! Cool. <laughs> now the rest of the video is going to be an interview process between Airsoft R&D and I about how he built this Airsoft rocket launcher. We hope you enjoy. The one item that I was most certainly looking forward to at Malahack and the gathering of the Halo Airsoft community was you bringing the Halo Airsoft rocket launcher. Please tell me how all this is made and how it works. So yeah, I wanted something that was just completely out there and I was like, why not do the Halo rocket launcher? So, okay, so I did it. It's a scaled down version so that it can use 40 mil rounds because if it were full size, the projectiles would have to be bigger. The barrels are PVC. The shoulder part of it is, is actually machined out of wood. And then the rest of the big pieces are 3D printed. Okay, and um, the way that you reload it and whatnot is just like in the video game, right? Where like you, you take off the top latch and you replace the two barrels. Right, I wanted to replicate that because I, I wanted the challenge of making it work. So the top latch actually locks the top piece onto the launcher so that the barrels don't fall out. And when you pull and hold the trigger, there's a motor to spin the barrels. And then there's individual sears on the back so that you can shoot one shot at a time. And obviously it doesn't spin as fast as it does in the game but it's still pretty rewarding whenever it goes off. And watching the barrel spin in front of you like it would actually in the game is so surreal. <laughs> yeah, um, that was actually kind of a challenge. Is I'm, I'm already using two lipos in series, which is twice as much as everything else. And even still, it has to turn slower because there's not enough power. But if I wanted to add more power, I would need more lipos and with the size of the launcher, I'm actually running out of space to put more lipos in. Yeah, I, I love the idea that it's kind of running on two lipos to essentially make the motor turn the two barrels. It's having a lot to fight there, but it's really cool to see that it actually functions the way it's supposed to. Yes, I'm glad I was able to, to actually make it work the way that it did in the game. Anybody could just make something that looks like that and just do a mechanical trigger like the other launchers, but to actually have it spin and to make the barrels removable is just next level. <laughs> it really is. And also having it, you know, being able to fire tag and rounds or 40 millimeter airsoft grenades. It's such a cool thing to think about. Yeah, it had to be able to shoot tag ins, otherwise there's no point to it. It's just a glorified BB gun at that point. It had to shoot tag -ins. So I know one of the features is the electronic safety feature, am I correct? That's kind of put on the side of the rocket launcher? Yeah, yeah. On the in-game model, there was a switch there, but I couldn't quite read out what the label was. And I had to include the switch, so I may as well make it the safety switch. It's just a simple power switch. You flip it on and it lets power through. Obviously, there's one glaring issue with it, and that's not really based off, you know, the product that you made yourself, but rather it's the design of the Halo rocket launcher itself. So if you were wanting to use this at actual events, obviously you'd have to carry around extra ammunition, which is the two large barrels. So since it loads exactly like it does in the games, you would essentially have to have either um, a stockpile of those barrels on hand somewhere or have somebody accompany you by your side you know, to help load these tubes for you. 
Now, when and if somebody decides to purchase this rocket launcher or even use it at an event, I'm pretty sure they'd be well informed in knowing that this isn't essentially the most practical thing, rather having it feel like the legitimate Halo rocket launcher. Just having fun with it, essentially. Yeah, like if, if you want practicality and nothing else, like generic M4 is basically your only option. If you want anything other than a generic M4, you're sacrificing some level of practicality for something else. This kind of takes it to the extreme. You're, it's not even close to practical. However, it's literally the Halo rocket launcher, so... Exactly. And that's the end of my interview with Airsoft R&D. However, this isn't the end of the review. Let's see what the Jet Desert Fox thinks about the rocket launcher. It's time to finish the fight. Yes. Keep pulling, keep pulling, it's gonna spin around. <laughs> Wild. Thank so, you. in your professional opinion awesome. as an airsoft fighter, so what would you rank that at? Uh, that was a seven. <laughs> it would have been a ten with, it would have been a ten with tagging rounds. <laughs> tagging tag rounds would be a ten. Those were tagging training rounds. Those were? Yeah. Oh. Well, I mean, like, so like, a a reaper, ten like, a, like a reaper round, though. Oh, yeah. Like a reaper oh, round. Oh, all right, let me go grab your guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and there you have it. There's the info on the Halo Airsoft rocket launcher. If you're brave enough and desperately want to own one of these, Airsoft R&D actually creates and sells these on his website for a good chunk of change. The cost of one of these rocket launchers ranges around the exploding price of $650, and the extra barrel ammunition is around $280. Expensive, yes, but the amount of work put into a project like this while also taking into account of the material costs that Airsoft R&D puts into one of these launchers, it's more than a reasonable price. And that will conclude our Halo Airsoft rocket launcher review. Make sure to keep an eye out for more unique Halo Airsoft video reviews, because Airsoft R&D still has a ton to show off. And I'd definitely like to thank my Spartan brethren for enabling me to even go to an event like this. Uh, without them, I probably wouldn't have even been able to go to this event. So, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, and don't forget... This is truly Combat Evolved.